I'll be doing CNN tonight live from the great state of New Hampshire because CNN is rightfully desperate to get those fantastic Trump ratings back. They were ratings like none other, and they want them back. Thanks for watching, but I do have to apologize for once again subjecting you all to the black hole of self-awareness that is the spew, but I just cannot let this one pass without responding. In this case, we're witnessing a widespread leftist meltdown after Trump schlong Katie Collins during one of the most brutal town halls I've ever watched. Why did you, why did it take you three hours to tell them to go home? I don't believe it did. Oh, let me pull it out. I have to pull it out. <laughs> Drill, baby, drill. You suspend polarizing talk of election fraud during your run for president. Yeah, unless I see election fraud. Are, Are you, you ready? ready? Are you ready? Can I talk? Yeah, what's you the mind? answer? Can I, do you mind? I would like for you to answer the question. Okay, it's very simple to answer. That's why I asked it. It's very simple to answer. You're a nasty person, I'll tell you. <laughs> Except this time, it goes way more off the rails than usual. After the racist Sonny Hostin starts flapping her spew hole. I think that that town hall will be studied in journalism schools around the country as to what not to do. It was not fact checked appropriately. I don't believe she tried. again. She tried, yeah, the, yeah. the girl she tried. tried. Let's is give not her some good credit enough yeah. in that type of situation. Can, I, can I just sentence. not be interrupted for a second? Um, she didn't have the range. He agreed to the interview because he knew he could steamroll her. That's not fair. Jake Tapper would have done it anyway. Would have done a better job. Did she just admit that a man would do a better job? And I will tell you that remember Trump walked out of a 60 minutes interview with Leslie Stahl because she was fact checking him in real time every single time. It's time for some real introspection at CNN. It was awful for the country, but congratulations, CNN, for making a little bit of money on the backs of our democracy. <laughs> Ooh, sounds like a little passive aggressive laughter from Behar. Can I just not be interrupted for a second? Um, she didn't have the range. <laughs> <laughs> he agreed to the interview. What is she even talking about? Collins was constantly claiming that Trump was factually incorrect. And as far as rigged elections go, we know for a fact that at the very least, Joe Biden, Blinken, our media, and big tech all coordinated to suppress real bad news for Joe Biden in order to manipulate the election in his favor. Definitely nothing to see there. And I will tell you that, remember, Trump walked out of a 60 Minutes interview with Leslie Stahl because she was fact-checking him in real time every single time. Democrats think that reporters are on their side. They expect reporters to be kind to them and gentle. They expect it because they assume we're liberals and we're going to be in, on their side. No shit. Exactly. The Democrats expect the media to be on their side. And the media clearly goes along with this because they are mostly Democrats themselves. And these people want to keep a job. Can you even imagine what the pressure is like if any of these people are Republicans or conservatives and don't agree? If they value their jobs, they keep their mouths shut. Yeah, everyone. Can I just say something about Caitlin? Because I thought she did a very decent job. She tried decent very hard. Is not good enough. But you can't bring a fire extinguisher to a nuclear yes. holocaust. Agreed. It, yeah, listen, no, okay? Here's, and her, 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 that's why you don't her give him voice was well, too low for him. He yells, he steamrolls, his range, body is 30 humongous. years old. Look who's talking. I don't, I don't think that's right. I don't think coming after a female journalist You're, is right. We've I'm not had, coming after we've her. Had, I'm telling the truth. But we've had people on the show like Ted Cruz where every one of us wanted to genuinely yeah. question him and they bulldoze you. Even really we getting bulldozed well, on here. Let, 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 me, let me tell you, let me tell you this. I think. <laughs> no, Ted Cruz utterly destroyed them all. And you can watch the video I did on that when you're done here by finding the link in the description or pinned comment. Ultimately, this is what the Democrat Party or the powers that be want one party rule and their opponents either outlawed or silenced out of existence they seem to have the idea that silencing their political opponents and people they just don't like is part of democracy when this narrative started back in 2016 i often joked that democrats wanted people to think that democracy was just democrats in control 
I no longer think that's a joke. This is serious. We're dealing with people who have a lot of power and are driven by the belief that their opponents and critics are inhuman monsters and that they're doing nothing less than saving the planet by doing away with us. All right, folks, that's about all I can take of the spew for today. I'm really not feeling very well, but if you enjoyed it, please hit that like button, share, subscribe, and make sure to leave a comment to vent some of those frustrations. Thanks a lot and have a great weekend.